Hi, I am Harry Igraglas, and today I want to tell you about Idle Magic School game. Awesome game. This is a guide where I'll teach you how to play it. So, let's start. Uh, first of all, the most important thing when you just start to play this game, to understand that it's a quite complex game actually. And uh, it's not as simple as it could look at first. So, there are plenty of different content, different continents, different schools. Uh, there are some even activities uh, ex except regular activities. There are also uh, some fighting activities. So, you could fight magical creatures in different areas. So, it's, it's magic game <laughs> for real. So, uh, first, when you just start to play, you just sh you should just go quests. So, let me move to another to water country. It's second continent. So, because at first continent I already finished all quests. So, here. Uh, in the left bottom corner we have quests. And you should just follow these quests. And if you follow them, eventually you will be very good. You will finish uh, this continent and uh, go forward. It's first advice. Go stick to this um, quest. Second one, it's uh, look at cues. So the most important in this game actually to look at the cues. So if you see that in certain class there are a lot of uh, pupils, they queue up, it means that you might consider to upgrade it. So, for example, here you see we have a lot of uh, students, they want to go in, and uh, it means that we need to make more seats, but I already made more seats, so I could do, I could uh, reduce their time in for teaching. So, be sure to look at the queues, and reduce them. Uh, actually, you could see that I finished this first uh, school, but it's my favorite one. So I like, I still like to make it better. To uh, like put here new furniture in dormitories and other stuff. Even though I should focus at second uh, school, I like this one very much. So uh, important thing that. Important thing that actually there are always something to do. So in this school, even if you already finished all the building, you see we have at our first class huge queue, huge queue, and everything upgraded. I even upgraded. I put here sword of the college, sword of Gryffindor. <laughs> what to do? There are still ways to upgrade. You go here, and there is an office. So here you could uh, also increase success of uh, finishing your basic theory. Why do we need it? Because we see, you see there are huge queue to this place, but there is no queue here. Why it's so? Because uh, percent of success, probability of success, it's still very low. It's, you see only 65% success. So if we will go to the office and we will upgrade it, we will add uh, certain amount of uh, success here. So you see now it's 70% 70, 70 success. And it means that next class will be more full. So after you upgraded all classes, go to the office and uh, you could continue upgrading your teachers to make their um, classes more successful. So now let's uh, let's talk about fighting, because it's the most hardest thing to understand how it works. Of course, yes, uh, of course, uh, take all the gifts which game give you. Uh, it's important to upgrade your Fountain of Life. You see, my it's level 14, so you should, first, first thing which you should do with Holy, with these um, things, how they called, uh, I do not know even these stones. Yeah. Uh, first thing which you should do, 
with them. It's to upgrade it. Upgrade uh, font on the left, font on of holy font of, of life, so you will have more holy water. And for this holy water, you could uh, buy these upgrades in Department of Mysteries. So in Department of Mysteries, first thing which you should buy it's holy water. So output of the fountain of life will be bigger. Second thing, uh, if especially if you are free to play player, I am free to play player. I don't buy something here yet. So uh, I buying this. Let's buy. It. I increase max time limit for offline revenue. It's very important if you are free to play player. It will give you huge boost. And then just uh, buy everything what what you like. So. Yeah, movement speed it's good to reduce cues by the way uh, success of learning and all, the, all other stuff so um, also there is, a, there is a tree you also could upgrade it but when you just start to play you will have more than enough so level two it's enough to have magical tree for now first you should focus at fountain of life because this uh, magic tree you will need it later H how to spend um, how you could spend this uh, magic tree fruits you could uh, you see there is a book and with the skull this button book with the skull illustrated book here you have heroes so let's talk about heroes it's big thing which not much, many people know about it so you have different heroes and you could upgrade them they have different stats so for upgrading you use these fruits and actually you have always plenty of fruits that's why I'm telling you that uh, you do not need to upgrade magic tree immediately so it's for later it will be useful so uh, what, what you should do you should look at your heroes and choose heroes which has bigger attack and blessing magic so each hero has four parameters and actually uh, right now right now uh, only attack magic and blessing magic works so attack magic it influence uh, how your hero good at attacking and blessing magic it's your bonus to speed of attack so these two parameters attack magic and blessing magic it's the most important most important other two defensive and healing magic it doesn't really matters right now so you should focus at looking which hero is the best in these two parameters. For example, my top hero, Summoner, you see? My top hero, Summoner. He has only 200 attack and 200 blessing. It's very small amount, actually. And uh, if we will look here, for example, my senior, which should be uh, not so powerful because he is low level, but still he has 1000 attack and 400 blessing. So he is much better. And what, sh what should we do? Uh, when we go to the adventures, yes, there is adventure mod, eventually you will open it. You can uh, choose a hero, which hero to choose for adventure. So click, just click at this hero. And your goal is to choose as there is a main hero and additional hero. So main hero should be a hero which got the biggest attack and blessing. Because he will define how much damage you will make. And two other heroes, you just uh, should look for amount of mana which they give. They only give mana. So the best choice in this case for me, it's to use this setup. Senior wizard because he defines attack. And two additional wizards, they just give additional mana. That's it. So it's how, it's how you choose it. Also you, could, uh, also, you could equip different items for heroes. So, you could equip uh, weapons and you, to, you could equip gems. But uh, weapons, you could, we could also already kind of go to the shop and you could buy the weapon, like this icicle wand. I should do it. <laughs> I just uh, always forgot to do it. But yes, it's the way where you could buy it. And uh, considering games, you will get games when you gems when you will get to Winterland. So first two territories, you do not have gems. You will get them when you get to the third one. So anyway, even though we do not have it, uh, put 
to your main hero put your put the wand and put of course this uh, stone that's it now uh, after you equipped your heroes also don't forget to put one of your heroes to the training so he will become uh, better and you go fighting in fighting there are different levels and you could choose where to go it's better to go to the highest possible you see there are uh, different locations so uh, eventually you will um, fight in other zones so you just push go and your hero will fight with enemies automatically you do not need to do anything uh, the secret here that actually when you are online if you're playing online you your hero are, heroes are better in fighting than if you play offline they're still all right but i mean for example gems uh, for s some types of gems they work only when you're online so you need uh, to um, to know about it to remember about it I i'll make later on i'll make more videos more guides about this game and i'll tell you about uh, w which gems to use when i'll get there <laughs> so another type of content is you go through wizard tower so it's uh, quite uh, easy you just uh, you have timer and it, this this uh, timer it's after some time it's restored so you go high and there is a top Maybe you know some of these players. Let's make these players famous. If you if you knew, if you see yourself, please write me comments. Maybe some of top players in this game. Uh, maybe I'll show them in my video, and it's like a monument to them. So you see, I am at 400 uh, player, and uh, every day you have additional award for uh, getting to the top. So don't forget to clear uh, wizard tower so it's basically everything for now i'll make uh, more videos about this game it's a really awesome game i am huge uh, potter fan so yeah hi <laughs> uh, please uh, write your comments and uh, tell me uh, how it is what's your favorite hero what's your favorite location let's discuss it have a good day don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Bye-bye.